Hi, Steve here with my weekly diet update. Okay, this week I weighed in at 241.6, which is lower than last time I weighed a few pounds down. My body fat is now 23%. Last time it was 22, but I don't know how accurate the machine is. I'm not too worried about it as long as my weight is going down. I entered that weight loss contest at work, so I want to win some money. I have been to the gym every night after work for the past few weeks. I'm trying to do the elliptical for an hour straight. I set it up to like 16 and I go for an hour and that burns like 700 calories. I was doing a half hour of the weight machines and a half hour of the elliptical but I feel like uh, when I lift weights I get more hungry and I want to eat more. It seems like whenever I get down to about 240 which is about the lowest I've been I seem to hit a wall. So I might have to try something even different. Um, I might have to do the dreaded keto diet. Um, Joel from Media Glitch and Colton West from the Colton West show have been telling me about the great results with the keto diet. So I might try that out for a couple weeks. I hear you can lose a lot of weight really fast. But my wife says it's not healthy and she's anti-keto diet. Anyway, I don't usually try to rush my weight loss. It's just for this uh, contest I'm in at work. I've gradually, over the past year, slowly I've uh, gotten healthier. I've lost uh, a lot of weight and a lot of body fat percentage just from being healthier. And I do still have cheat meals. I'm not totally depriving myself of the, the food I love. I've just been trying to not drink any soda and not eat any sweet foods and uh, eat a, a bigger variety of healthy foods. I eat more beets and green beans and cauliflower and broccoli and tuna and stuff like that than I ever have. It makes me feel better. Anyway, enough about that boring stuff. Let's get on to the pickups. Sorry I haven't had any videos uploaded in the past couple weeks. I've been busy with work. I've been working on a test at work to get a promotion so I've had my free time occupied with that and uh, I've been trying to play my video games in my winter backlog challenge so I trying to complete those I'll get to that a little bit later but for now we'll do the pickups um, I want to start off with a package I got from a friend my buddy video game collector sent me a package um, he hit me up and asked me if I wanted some DVDs. He got a big case of DVDs. And I had most of them in there, but a couple of them caught my eye. And I asked him, uh, what would you like from me? You want to trade something? He says, no, just don't worry about it. So that was really nice of him. I'm sure you know who Video Game Collector is if you watch my channel. He's a collector and he does a lot of live streams. He's a fun guy to hang out with on live streams. And it was really nice of him to send these to me. So I'll share those right now. And it came with some packing foam. I can use that if I mail something. I could probably even reuse this box here. So check it out. He sent me a Star Trek on Blu-ray and this is sealed. This is a movie I had on DVD, but I let a friend borrow it and I never saw it again. So this is one I want. I didn't realize it was a Blu-ray and it was sealed when I saw it in the picture, so that's cool I got that. That's very generous of him. Yeah, I'm more of a Star Wars guy than a Star Trek guy, but I did enjoy these new Star Trek movies. And I'm glad I have this in my collection. And he sent me a note here. Ty Lord, here are some DVDs and Blu-rays that I promised to send you. I hope you enjoy them. Love your channel. Keep up the good work. VGC. Man, that's really cool of him. I wish I could trade something, give something back to him, but everything I have, I think he already has. And then some. I'll have to do something nice for him, though. And then Serenity here on Blu-ray. This is a movie my wife and I liked, a sci-fi movie. Um, I never watched the TV show, what was it called, Firefly, when it came out back in the day. But my wife and I watched through the two seasons on uh, Netflix, and we really enjoyed it. 
And so I think we watched this on Netflix as well and we enjoyed it. So that's cool to have this in my collection. This is one I wanted to have. This kind of wraps up the TV series in a two hour uh, feature film. And then Stanley Kubrick's uh, Full Metal Jacket. And I didn't have this in my collection, so I'm glad I have that now. Again, that's, this is very generous of him to give me these uh, DVDs. I'm sure all you buddies out there know who uh, Video Game Collector is, but if not, go subscribe to him. Go check him out. Uh, he does a lot of uh, live streams. It's really fun to hang out with him, talk about video games, see what he's playing, hang out with the other dudes in the little group. And then he has a big collection, he shares a lot of pickups, and he shares up his uh, video game collections. Okay, so I didn't have much time to go to the thrift stores recently, or much money to, to do so. But I did pick up a few things for very cheap. First I picked up Revenge of the Sith, the uh, full screen edition. It has two discs in there. I already had the DVD of this in widescreen. But it was hard for me to find that. That was the last one I needed to complete my Star Wars DVD collection. And this movie was hard to find, so when I saw this for a dollar, I had to pick it up and have it again. I might give it to someone that likes Star Wars. Okay, here's something I picked up. Uh, I don't think it's worth anything. It was once $50 at, at uh, Best Buy. This is really good editing software. This is the same program I use. I use version 10, which is already about 10 years old. This is version 7, and it's sealed. So I don't even know what this would work on anymore. I, I really love this Pinnacle Studio um, editing software. So I just had to give this a home. It's sealed. I might be able to get a little bit for it if I sold it online, but I just saw this uh, Pinnacle 7. Who knows if I uh, pick up an old computer, I might try to edit with this thing. Okay, so I went to the music store today. Maybe once out of every 10 times I go there, there's a good selection of cheap video games. You never know when they're gonna come in. Today I found some. Um, I'm really happy with what I found today. It's nothing as impressive as what Gamer Manual would find or uh, Shad Juice. Not those kind of deals. But I was happy, just I happened to be there and I happened to find some, some good deals. Uh, first off, the orange box for PC. I'm pretty sure it's complete. I think it just has two discs in there, disc one and disc two. I think all the games are on there. I could be wrong. But it has the uh, the code in there and the games in the case. I already have this on uh, Xbox 360 and I have all these games on Steam. But I thought it would be cool to have the uh, case, and that was 95 cents. Okay, so I had been looking for this game for a while, and today I found it at the music store for $1.95. The God of War Remastered High Definition Collection. It has God of War 1 and 2 on there. This is for PS3. I never played the God of Wars, but I remember watching my brother play it on the original version, or the uh, PS2 version. And I remember it looked really cool, but I was busy playing Resident Evil 4 all the time to uh, play that game. I think I was hating on it. I was saying, oh, that looks like garbage to Resident Evil 4 on GameCube. But it does look pretty impressive for PlayStation. This is remastered, so I'm sure it looks even better. But it looks like a really fun hack and slash beat em up. The one thing that kind of intrigues me about uh, God of War 2 is... Um, Perseus is in there. I think you fight Perseus and the, the model the character model of Perseus looks like Perseus from Clash of the Titans That 1981 movie 1980 1981. That's one of my favorite movies and I think I think his name's Harry Hamill That played Perseus he does the voice of Perseus in there So I, that that I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know when I'm gonna get to playing this game, but I have it now and I don't think I could find it this cheap at GameStop or anywhere else, $1.95. Borderlands 2 for PS3, I got it for $0.95. Cents. I enjoyed Borderlands 1, I don't think I ever beat it. I think that's when I started to get out of video games. I played it for a while though, it was pretty good, like role-playing, uh, shooter, open-world uh, game, first-person. 
Kind of reminded me of World of Warcraft, like first person shooter style. I don't know why. Yeah, it's post-apocalyptic style game. I enjoyed the first one, but I didn't have the second one, so I have this now. I don't know if I'm ever going to play this, but maybe someday when I retire. Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. I got this for $1.95. Uh, it has the manual in there and the disc is clean. All of these games had their manuals and the discs were clean. $1.95. Um, I hear this is one of the better uh, racing games on Xbox. I'm not really too into racing games. I've always enjoyed them though. I've always enjoyed the original Burnout and uh, Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit on PlayStation 1. I love that game. This looks really really impressive. Back then when you got a game on Xbox it, and it was a multi-platform game it looked a lot better on the Xbox. I'm not just saying that because I was a fanboy for Xbox but I noticed all the games that were multi-platform. I did have quite a few games on the same game for different systems and I noticed that Xbox games looked a lot better. Man, just, just looking at the pictures on the back of this, it looks really good like current gen. I'm easy to please though. I don't care about HD and all that 4K, all that stuff. I'm usually just happy with playing games on my little 13 inch television. Oh, and then I picked up this for uh, $3.95, Wii Sports. I've been hearing from a lot of the videos I watch, like Rebel Gaming Club, I think mentions this, and uh, I think MC Murr. Just, just all the guys I watch, um, I know consistently I hear that Wii Sports is, uh, is worth a lot, and it goes for a lot. Uh, even at GameStop, if I took this in used, um, I think I could make like a dollar on it from what I paid at the music store. I got it for $3.95. And take a look, this thing is sealed. There's even a little sticker on there reminding us that it's sealed. So I got this sealed Wii Sports uh, $3.95. So I definitely am going to try to sell that. I really didn't care for this. I already have this uh, in the little sleeve that came with my Wii. I guess it's kind of fun to play once or twice with your family, like play bowling. The boxing game was kind of cool. It, it does work good. I'm not going to say that uh, Nunchuck Deal is garbage. It works really good, but this is just really not my type of thing. Playing these little stupid games with the uh, baby rattles. Anyway, so that's it with the pickups. Nothing too impressive. Okay, and now for an update on the Winter Backlog Challenge I'm part of, put on by Dat Video Game Collector. The, the challenge was uh, five games to beat in three months. The deadline is uh, December 21st, I believe. My five games were Golden Axe, Fantasy Star 2, Shinmu 2, Vanquish, and Fantasy Star 4. So I actually have completed three of them now, and I only have about two weeks left. So I'm really going to have to dig deep to pull this off. I know uh, Cats Games Whatever already finished it, and uh, Oh So Jiggly, Sigalacious already finished his five games. Um, and I think uh, Mainly Gaming is really close. He's on his last game. I only have two more to go. Um, I have to complete Vanquish, which I started on last night. I'm about one-third of the way through that. And then I have to play Fantasy Star 4. So I don't think I'm going to uh, complete this challenge. But before I, I say anything else, I beat Shinmu 2 finally. And I don't know why I didn't beat this sooner. Ten years ago, I was obsessed with Shinmu. I love Shinmu 1. It's in my top ten favorite games of all time. And then I got it for the Xbox. And I don't know if I was busy playing other games or I was busy with school or uh, work or my girlfriend or whatever. But I never got around to uh, completing this. And maybe I didn't complete this game because I was overwhelmed. When you get into the city on this game, you don't have much money. And it's a big city, very confusing to me at least. Um, so I didn't really know where to go. I kind of wanted to get the Dreamcast version and play through that. I don't know why, I just thought it would be cool to have the Dreamcast version, the European uh, Dreamcast version to play. 
So that might be another reason I never played this. I even pre-ordered Shinmu 3, even though I never completed this until now. But I finally completed it, and let me say, this is within my top 5 or 10 favorite games now. I think I like it even more than Shinmu 1. Shinmu 1 is a lot smaller, and it, it feels like you become connected with that little town like it's your town. This is kind of more of an adventure. I'm not going to get deep into it today. I really want to talk about this game though and why I love it so much. But let, let me say, this is like the, the, the martial arts fighting game I've always wanted. Like if there was a, a story mode to Street Fighter or Tekken or Virtua Fighter. But man, this, this game is so awesome. It has such a great story. A lot of characters that are memorable. Let me tell you what this feels like. It feels like one of those 80s or 90s martial arts movies, but put into a game. And at any point in this movie you're watching, you can just uh, leave the, the, the plot and go off to a store and go to the store and look at the items in the store or go to the video arcade and go play Space Harrier at the video arcade. Or you could go to a casino and gamble. This game is just so immersive for an older game. I don't know if many games were doing stuff like this back then. But I finally beat this and I love it. I have to tell a story about this game. Um, I was trying to complete it for the winter backlog. I wanted to rush through it, but I was having such a great time with it. I was taking my time and enjoying the story. And enjoying uh, immersing myself in this world. The fighting in here is really great. It's beat em up style. Sometimes it's one on one fighting. A lot of this game reminds me of Bloodsport or something. Like you go through these uh, rickety corridors to, to get to a, a fighting arena and you fight someone in a one on one uh, contest. It's in Hong Kong. The game is set in Hong Kong mostly. Anyway, so I was playing through this game the whole time. And whenever you save, you have to go to your apartment or wherever you're sleeping by a bed to save the game. So I was going through a long stretch towards the end of the game. I was, And I couldn't find anywhere to save. It was just uh, one battle after the next. Uh, one quick time event. One, uh, one puzzle. One, uh, one maze to get through after the next. And I couldn't find any save points. And it was driving me nuts. I didn't want to lose my progress. I didn't want my Xbox to crash. It, it never has before, but I was just worried the thing's kind of old. But I was having a great time playing this game. I, I haven't played a game that long for a long time. I played this for about five or six hours, and I was nervous. I didn't, couldn't find a save point. I played through what I thought was the last boss. I got to him. I, I played through a really long um, section of the game. And it was pretty stressful for me. There was a lot of quick time events. And so I finally uh, beat all of that. And I go, all right. I didn't know if it was the end of the game or there was still more to go. But but there were no save points. And then it went on to some cutscenes and some, some videos that were really good at progressing the story. So that went on for about a half hour. And then uh, our protagonist here, Rio, goes to a different land. Uh, I don't want to give away the story of this game, but he's looking for someone and his clues lead him to another area. So you have to take a boat to another area. So you take a boat to this other area and you come to a little village. Like, okay, I can save here. Nope, I can't save there. There's no, there's no hotel, no inn, nothing. I can't save there. What am I going to do? So then, I really don't want to give this away. I, I wish everyone could experience this game. So then you're wandering around through the wilderness. You meet a friend. You uh, you just try, you're trying to find a village. You're searching. You're searching. You have to stay the night in a cave. There's no save point there. I'm like, what is going on? I was getting so nervous. I had to contact a friend, an expert in Shinmu. Uh, if you're not aware of Oh So Jiggly, um, Say Galicious from Oh So Jiggly, he does great, uh, he does really great videos. I, I can't really hype him up enough. I don't know if a lot of people know about him. He does great uh, videos on, on fighting games. He, he's an expert at this. 
So anytime I have a problem, I try not to irritate him too much about it, but I, I just didn't know what to do. I had to uh, contact him, and he says, uh, I, I told him, I said, man, I've been playing this game for six hours. I'm really enjoying it, but I, it's driving me nuts. I can't find a save point, and I have to go to bed soon. I have work in the morning. And anyway, Segalacious says, oh, you can save any time, Tyler. Just go into the options, press start, and you can save it. There's a little Xbox icon there. And I was like, what? So, so I said, what, are you serious? So I went into the inventory, and sure enough, there's a little Xbox icon in there. Just go to there. You can save at any point in the game. And that would have been so helpful for me earlier on in the game if I knew that, because I struggled with a lot of parts in this game. I went through a, a long portions of this game and then screwed up, and I had to go redo it again because I hadn't saved frequently. I thought I had to go back to my, uh, my bed to save. I liked it when I was stressed out playing this game, but now that I know I can save it at any point, I, I like this game even more. I want to go play it again now. I, I won't be as stressed out this time. Anyway, I have more to say about this game. I really love this game. If you haven't played this, please go play it. I, I know it's not for everyone, but I think once you give it a try, it could be for everyone. Man, just a great game. The fighting mechanics in here, there is the same fighting engine as Virtual Fighter, apparently. And as you go through the game, you learn new moves. You, you are taught different moves by different masters that you can use in battle. So it, it's a really awesome game. And there, there are some really hilarious characters in here, too. Anyway, that's about it for the uh, Winter Backlog Challenge, so hopefully I can finish that. I have a couple days off next week. I hear a Fantasy Star 4 is about 30 to 40 hours long, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. This has been uh, Steve with my weekly diet update. I'll see you next week. Bye!